This phrase found its second life thanks to the mysterious unit, which emerged from nowhere and became one of the fiercest at the front lines. Volunteers who started with regular cars a year ago now operate tanks as a separate reconnaissance unit. So what's the story behind Kraken? True chaos reigned in the first day of the full-scale invasion as Kharkiv suffered massive bombardment. Large enemy columns approached the Ukrainian metropolis near the Russian border from the north. Under those circumstances, a group of gloomy men has gathered in Kharkiv. There were mainly local football fans and their acquaintances. Together, they stood up to defend the city. Among them were recon officers, veterans of the acclaimed Azov, and other experienced fighters. The main directorate of intelligence agreed to provide some light arms, a few machine guns, and mortars. That's how Kraken was born. The volunteers went to back up the armed forces right away. In the second half of the day on February 24th, we took up positions at North Saltivka, the most dangerous direction at that time. They were already breaching through it. The 92nd Brigade was holding it, but the defense was already breached. That's where we sent the reinforcements to. A few days later, they were already dislodging Russian special forces from a school they captured near the city center. In a week, two Russian-caliber missiles hit the city's defense headquarters, where Kraken was also dislocated. According to the official report, 29 people died. Yet the volunteers remained unwavering. By March, they reclaimed Vilhivka village. Further, in April, they liberated the important town of Ruska Lozova. As it was later revealed, the head of the main directorate of intelligence, Kirilla Budanov, took part in that operation as well. The army officials were so impressed by the mission that a spontaneous formation became a part of the main directorate of intelligence and received a new status – a separate reconnaissance and sabotage unit Kraken. In 2022, Kraken helped liberate more than 20 Ukrainian towns and villages. This number includes such big towns as Kupiansk and Balaklia. One of the main features of Kraken is a thorough preparation of every operation. For example, before the assault on Balaklia, Ukrainians learned that Russians lacked power generators. This is when Kraken captured the local power plant and turned the power off. Russians found themselves without connection and electricity, allowing the volunteers to successfully attack the panicking enemy. One of the last carefully planned operations at the moment was the destruction of two Russian surveillance towers that automatically detect any movement on a 15 km distance. Thanks to reconnaissance and analytics, Kraken fighters knew exactly where and how to shoot. As a result, both towers were destroyed. Russians have big troubles with it. They are told to capture a village, so they look. OK, the paper says we need to send three tanks and four armored carriers through the field. Three tanks and four armored carriers drive through the field. And then, good evening, here we are, meeting them. For effective operation planning, Kraken actively uses UAVs. That includes the Black Hornet, tiny helicopters that weigh around 20 grams. They are silent enough to approach a human at a one-meter distance and remain undetected. Moscow has reported eliminating Kraken a dozen times. Destroyed? Well, maybe in the dreams of Russian propagandists. Kraken keeps fighting in the hottest spots. During every recruitment wave, Kraken gets nearly 150 applications. However, after extremely difficult tests and trials, only a few dozen candidates join the unit. The fighters of Kraken are highly intellectual people. 75% have a high education degree. To comply with all the main directorate of intelligence requirements, one has to overcome seven circles of hell. The trials include running many kilometers with a 15-kilogram backpack, staying in the cold or under the rain for a long time without food. Strict selection and high motivation to liberate their land made Kraken one of the most successful units of this war. 
I am grateful to Kraken fighters for decisive actions in the destruction of the enemy. Former football fans and volunteers keep fighting. Release the Kraken. The time for vengeance has come.